Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrade. So we've got a few things to do. Oh, they've gone. Oh. All right, so we've got a few things to do. Yeah, that. Huh? I ain't seen you around here before. Sure, you're in the right store. Ooh, what can I buy? Ooh, a few things. I'll wait for now. Chadley! Candidates. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. She seemed relatively agile and has substantial muscle mass for her stature. Hmm. An acceptable candidate. Hey, uh, you want to tell me what you're mumbling about? My apologies. My name is Chadley. Would you be interested in helping me with my research? I'm Yuffie. Nice to meet you. So, what are you researching? Combat. It would entail doing battle with a summon in a virtual arena using this portable simulator. Interested? Hmm. Sure. Why not? I'm a kick its butt. Very well then. <laughs> Very well then. <laughs> All right. Ah, Rama. Oh, that's the old guy. I remember him uh, from playing the original. Well, didn't finish the original, but I got. I remember getting him. So, Rama, Rama. No idea. Hey, old man. Whoa! Whoa! Cease! Oh, I'm stunned. Oh, come on! What a shame. It was a close match. It was However, not. I did manage to obtain some invaluable data. Analyze and learn from your mistakes so that you can claim victory next time. All right, guys. I am nowhere near a high enough level for that. Out the way. No. You right there, dude? Uh, <laughs> Alright. Map, here we go. So that's Chadley over there. Scout out Sector 7. A happy envoy. Sure. Let's swing by uh, seventh, seventh, seventh heaven. That's the word. Attention! For three gil, you can play Fort Condor against the lovely Kyrie. What was going on in here? to buy bread for tonight's dinner. So with his super duper nose, Stamp went into town to sniff out a bakery. He went a sniff sniff here and a sniff sniff there. Even finding milk, sausage and cake didn't distract him. 
Using his trusty nose, Stamp was able to find the best, most yummiest bakery in the whole city. And from that bakery, he picked out the best, most yummiest smelling loaf of bread. Thinking about how pleased the captain would be, Stamp went trotting back to base, wagging his tail and singing a happy song. But on the road home, he came across a moogle crying all by himself. What's wrong? Stamp asked the forlorn little fellow. I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten in ages, Koopo. The moogle sniffled. Never fear, Stamp's here, and I know just how to help. So Stamp gave the crying Moogle his loaf of bread. Thank you, Koopo, the Moogle explained, his palm bouncing excitedly. Then Stamp waved goodbye and returned to base. When he got there, he went straight to the captain and told him what had happened. The captain was very proud of Stamp. Helping that Moogle was the right thing to do. Who's a good boy? The captain laughed as he gave Stamp a good scratch behind the ears. And Stamp let out a happy bark, for he knew that he was the good boy. The end. See, even in this world, dogs are the good boys. Did everyone enjoy that? Sure. Alright. Oh. Didn't notice that before. Sure, why not? No, we've already listened to that. Alright, we're back around here. Hey, hey, Marl! Place a guard dog. Figured it'd spare my tenants the trouble of chasing off nosy men. I see. Alright, anything up here? Ooh. Is that the dog? Oh, he's doing a grand he's doing a grand job. Good boy. Alright. You can now edit your loadout, try experimenting with various changes. Alright. Bunch of major section. Hmm. Alright, okay, so. I need to make sure I have things that are good against them. I guess. <laughs> oh, excuse me.
All right. Oh, okay. Uh, this is going badly. No, I'm not rematching because I'm Thank not. Thank you very much for your continued patronage. See, I know you're a con artist, so I'm sure you're cheating, but we'll deal with that another time. What's that? Oh, hey, Jesse. Oh, this is where she's injured and can't go on the mission. Where are they? They should have been here by now. Hmm? Waiting for someone? Ooh, you got stood up. <laughs> As if. Wait, who are you? <laughs> Don't mean to be rude or anything, kid. But do you mind? I'm not exactly in the mood. Not in the mood. Go bug literally anyone else. Oh, Jesse. All right, where am I actually going? So the key to victory is ensuring that your units... Wait, what was a unit again? So when your opponent leads with this, you respond with this? Oh, this game is insane. Hey there, suit. How's that conversation with yourself working out? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. My daughter's been dying to play this game, and I promised to teach her. But first, I have to teach myself. That game wouldn't happen to be Fort Condor, would it? If you want, I'll help you figure stuff out. You, you will? Oh, thanks. That'd be a great help. Right, okay. Let's see if we can figure this out.
Hmm. Get rid of the slug ray, I think. I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe this will go better. Oh, God damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm not getting any good stuff anymore. Recharge quickly, please. Oh, I don't know what this sudden death thing is. Why is nobody shooting that thing up there?
Oh, come on. It's the first guard dog I, I've gotten. Oh, God, this this is stupid. I can't do this. Maybe I should have let up earlier. Alright. I don't think I'm going to get any of these done. Oh, new song. Hear that away at the happy turtle. Oh, ho, greetings, soft shell. So, how many of those flyers did you buy? What? Ahem. Collect just six flyers for the happy turtle, and a one of a kind prize could be yours. Ring any bells? Nope. Well, then, allow me to explain. The happy turtle's running a contest. And the rules are simple. All you have to do is collect six of our fabulous flyers from around Sector 7, and you'll earn yourself a prize sure to delight even the dourest Diamondback. <laughs> Sadly, a handful of locals have taken to acting like stink pots toward anything Mutayan, especially since the bombing. Some have even gone so far as to tear down my poor posters. Little wonder nobody's won yet. Bummer. <sighs> Which leaves me in a pretty predicament. But hey, my pain might be your game. By collecting just a handful of flyers, you could be the first, and at this rate, the only winner of the most testudinarious contest in Midgar's history. This here is a sample of one of our ads. Breathtaking, isn't it? Now it's up to you to find all six. Leave no shell unturned, no pond unplumbed. That prize is as good as mine. Ah, since you're here, you wouldn't happen to have any Condor coins on you, would you? This job may keep a shell over my head, but my real passion's coin collecting. I'd gladly part with some oddities and commodities in exchange for those little buttes. Uh, I do have some condor coins. Oh, I probably should have bought that. One of those. So that goes back there. Let's see if we can find these posters. Don't let the dog notice you. Oh. Right, okay, it's one of these. God, it's like that bloody Erith bit where you have to go get through her house without waking everyone. Yeah, I figured that bit out, thanks. To sleep, pooch. No, go back to go back to lying down. 
the pooch. I don't, I don't get what I'm supposed to be doing. Well, let me pick up the song. All right, but what, to what point? What am I trying to do? And I back down. Am I trying to get that poster? Okay, I don't know what this, what the point of this is. Got nothing to do with the song. All right, fuck this. Attention for three gil, you can play Fort Condor. It's the lovely Kyrie. Nothing lovely about you. You're a con artist. in the shadows like some kind of shinra spy say what me no -uh. i was just you know thinking about stuff huh mm. <laughs> yeah like how to bag that sweet sweet fort condor prize money it's my ticket out of here <laughs> so you're after the grandmaster too Sorry to burst your bubble, Mr. Shadow Lurker, but I'll be the one taking home those spoils of war. Well, over my dead body, you will. My life's on the line here. I deserve to eat. I deserve to live. No, no more of these condor things. Those posters. Enough already, Shinra. I get it. I should be up there with them. Hmm. Not that I'd be much use, but still. Another condor thing there, so. Maybe one of these guys is the Grandmaster. That's quite the outfit, but wait till you see my stock. All right, what do you got? Ooh. She got uh, not enough gill. Eh. 
All right, we're done. Posters. No. Uh, oh, that's. Oh, I see now. I think I've just seen the, what the posters are. What you got there, friend? Got the wrong cat. Now, there it is. Right, so it's not big posters I'm looking for, it's little pamphlets. Alright, now I know what I'm looking for. And there was one by the dog on the thing. Okay, so that was the, that was the goal. Anything in here? Uh, ooh. <laughs> this might be useful. I have a lightning, an ice, I've got fire, or do I? Do I have fire? Yeah, so that's our own one. Oh, I've already had those as well. Ugh. Ask you to uh, use revival spells. How do? Right, was there? A pamphlet in here. This is not going to be a very exciting episode because I'm getting sidetracked with these side quests. No, nothing in there. Come on, getting warm in here. Hmm. Where else could I look? That doesn't make you sound like an alcoholic at all. Right. Where was Wedge's house? So is it I see and where the music is Oh hey there wedge Right now, I'm in the middle of something important. 
All right, sorry, Wedge. I'll let you get on with it. Trooper Barracks. All right. Okay, so wherever there's music, there's a pamphlet. That makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, kids, I smashed your fault. Let's try this again. Now I know what I'm looking for, I know what I need to get. Very 50s this music. <laughs> He doesn't sleep for very long though, that's the issue. Oh, you're shaking, you little shit. have been hassling the nice people at the Happy Turtle, ripping down their flyers. Are you one of them? Mm -mm. So you're trying to sneak a peek at the Merc? Not that I blame you. Boy's easy on the eyes. I'll give him that much. <laughs> uh, but cut your losses, honey. Unless you like your men silent and emotionally unavailable. Merc's built a wall around himself so damn high, even he can't see over it. He'll never tell you what he's thinking. And that attitude of his. I tried to get through to him, but would he listen? Would he? I'm really not here for whoever he is. Then what are you here for? For, uh, directions. But I'm all good now. Thanks. <coughs> yeah, I don't believe Marl brought that. That was a close one. Right. Is that all of them? Uh, near the old tele. Uh, all right, maybe near the factory. But maybe that should be the last one because I think I've got five in total now. I haven't been keeping count. Right, let's head to the factory. It's bound to go listen out for the music. Avalanche is justice. Thought I heard a familiar voice. Hey, over here! Can't believe those freaking morons. They damn near got themselves eaten trying to hide that stupid poster. You stay away from that factory, you hear? The place has monsters coming out of the walls. Fiends have been acting up since the bombings, like they know something we don't. Just wish that Merc were still around. He'd sort those critters out. <laughs> oh! Hello! Uh, don't think he's interested in seeing you again. Why, hello there. Forgive me for saying, but you remind me of a dear friend of mine. Perhaps you've met him? I don't know. Is he Shinra too? Perhaps, perhaps. My name is Roche, by the way. 
Ordinarily, your ill-concealed hostility and exotic wardrobe would give me pause. But not today, for I am here on business of a personal nature. Looking for my aforementioned friend. What's his name? Oh, I only wish I knew. But I can tell you that he has a real need for speed, as they say. And while he boasts a very large sword, his first love is plainly his mount. Yeah, he sounds great. Say, is that Fort Condor I see over there? You play? I'm always ready for a round of Fort Condor. Though, I suspect a delicate flower like you would wither if exposed to my scorching passion for the game. Maybe after some practice? Hmm? Right then. Wait, is that the song of the turtle I hear? Right, there's got to be a thing around here somewhere. Ah, ah it was underneath the thing. Number five. No, that's not you. Where are, where are you? Oh, it tells me how many. Okay, two remain. Some kids hid one somewhere. Oops, sorry. Oh, well. Before we do this, let's get sure, make sure we're all healed up. Bound to be some fiends in here to deal with. Yeah, there's some in there. Hmm, very devil may cry. Got no time for small fry. Yeah, level up. What are you doing here? Alright then. I'm sure that's a reference to something. I don't get it. Yes! And our heroine triumphs again. There we go, about time I started getting some victories. My fragile ego was, t was a bit bruised. Songs in here, so where's the flyer? Thank you. 
Ooh, that big. Ah, poison! Oh, come on, I dodged that. Oh no! Oh, I thought you might be dead. Yes! This sure doesn't feel like winning. I don't know, I'll take it. Jesus. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and that makes six. Won't old snapper be impressed when I rock up with these bad boys? Yeah, but I'm not going there just yet. I want this materia. First strike. Hmm. That might be useful. No thanks. Thank you. 
Right, yeah, can I heal myself now, please? Jesus. Alright, let's head back to the turtle guy. And then I think we'll call this an episode. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Right. Right, I think he was up around this way, wasn't he? Where was he? Ah. Oh, there he is. Right there. Well, well, well. Look what the tide washed in. That's a one, two, three, and a four, five, and I can't believe it. Six. We have a winner. Three cheers for the Happy Turtles of Calgary Champions. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Please, it was a piece of cake. Only these Midgarian dummies would find that a challenge. Speaking of which, here, for a fellow tough nut. Would you look at that? The chow beans. Does this mean what I think it does? <laughs> well, what do you know? A real life ninja paying old snapper a visit. Truth be told, I'd love to have you around to the bar, but you got your hands full. <laughs> Not to mention the whole underage thing. Still just a youngin', I suppose, ninja though you are. Well, I don't plan on moving from Midgar anytime soon, so once your shell's seen a bit more wear and tear, make sure to come on back. Whip you up the finest food and drink this side of Wutai. Only the best for you. Excellent. And I got a magnifying materia. Yay! Alright. So this episode started off roughly, but ended pretty well I'd say and with that in mind I'm going to end this episode here thank you very much for taking the time to watch this guys if you liked it like subscribe ding that bell I've been Sigma later this has been Final Fantasy 7 remake integrate that's a long ass title and I'll catch you next time take care now